Anyone f familiar with police investigations would certainly recognize the name, the Robbery Homicide Division with the Los Angeles Police Department. Join Chief Charlie Beck for a conversation regarding the Chief's message for the month of December 2016. Chief, happy holidays. Well, thank you very much, thank you very much. Sir, what is the significance of this division to you and the department? Well, Robbery Homicide Division is, is one of our oldest divisions in the Los Angeles Police Department. You know, it, it, uh, it has evolved over the years to, to, to become a very specialized unit, but initially, you know, they handled every robbery and every homicide in the city, you know, and uh, now they have evolved into, into handling the most difficult cases. And so, you know, when, when we have something really difficult, it's going to take a lot of time, it's going to be very high profile, going to have a lot of media attention, it goes right to Robbery Homicide Division, and, and I have to say, since since I was chief of detectives and directly involved with robbery homicide division, and since I've been chief of police, they have never let me down. There's been some tremendous high profile cases over the years, particularly when you were here. I think that the cases the robbery homicide division has, has brought to fruition, has solved, uh, are, are the best cases in America. You know, whether it's the, uh, whether it's the grim sleeper or, or any of the, the uh, serial robbers, serial mm -hmm. rapists that, that, that they have brought in, you know, <laughs> whether they extradite somebody from Japan or, or go, you know, as I, say, as I say, they will go all the way around the world, halfway around the world to make a case and, and, and bring the uh, perpetrator back. And, and they've done that, and they've done it time and time again. You know, never failed me, not once. You know, we have all the detectives on the department. One of the areas that they particularly strive to go to is right here. And you know what, sir? We have two of the best detectives here, and I'll let you introduce yourself. Go ahead. Hi, I'm Esther Miafe. I work Special Assault Section. Hi, Esther. Hi, I'm Roger Sandoval, and I work Robbery Special. Roger, thank you. Thank you. Roger, do you have a question? I do. Uh, Chief, uh, in the next few years, um, we're going to have a lot of people retiring out of the Robbery Homicide Division. Uh, in the past, when a detective has retired, it takes a long time to yeah, fill the vacancy. Um, is there a plan for the future to maintain staffing in our division? Well, you know, Roger, we're doing much better than, than we have in the recent past. You know, during the Great Recession, it was really hard to fill spots. And so I, I think right now you guys have uh, about 19 vacancies in the division, and 14 of them have ads. And, and so you'll be able to fill 14 as soon as, as soon as you go through the application process. Um, I, I pulled the division stats, and you have about nine, maybe 10 people on, due to retire next year on drop. And our goal, you know, the, the good thing about drop is we can plan for for when people leave, generally, and so we'll do that. You know, th this division is very important to me, very important to Los Angeles, and keeping it well staffed with the best detectives and supervisors possible is, is a big goal of mine. Thank you. Esther, do you have a comment? Yes, sir. Um, as technology grows and changes in this world, what's your plan to provide detectives with the necessary tools to accomplish our mission? You know, Esther, that's a really good question because, you know, even though I have a lot of things that I want to do, it's been very difficult for the same reasons that I, that I gave Roger on, on upgrades, you know, because we've been a little bit behind the curve on funding. Uh, but, you know, we're doing a lot of things now, uh, particularly with Palantir and with PredPol, to, to bring, you know, all of our systems together so the detectives can not only function better, but quicker, you know, and, and there's a couple of technology upgrades in, in this coming next year budget, in the 17-18 in the budget, uh, that, will, that will fix our risk management, uh, not our risk management, our, our uh, records management systems, so that, you know, when you query one system or another, you know, it, it queries multiple systems, and so that, that, that you can do your job in a, in a better way. I know that technology is the key to, to policing now, to the, especially to detective work. You guys, you know, you guys do things that, that we never thought we were, would be able to do, and connecting all those systems is, is absolutely key. And so we not only have to connect our systems, but we have to connect all the systems in California and, and even America, you know, because you know, crime knows no borders. And, and so having all these things that work together is really important. So, you know, we won't fix this right away because it's, it's A, we're really complicated, and B, this is really expensive, but we're making some good ground on, on bringing these systems in, particularly our new record management system, and then you know some of the things that, that this division has pioneered, our clue management systems and our case tracking system. So the, you know that's going to be a big improvement. Uh, you know, and I just ask everybody to bear with me and recognize that that you know the chief and the department, we know that we have to fix this, and, and we're 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 trying to use what little what little money we have to do that. Roger. 
Sir, uh, what is uh, your goal or outlook for the future of Robbery Homicide Division before you leave office? You know, I, I think Robbery Homicide Division it, it needs to, to be, you know, return to, to its core, which is to be the elite investigative entity uh, within law enforcement. And, and, I, and I see you do that every day. And, and, and so, you know, I think that, that one of the things that we can do is I can do is provide you with the tools to do that. And you both have asked excellent questions about the tools that you need, you know, to become the best you can be, to, to, to bring people to uh, justice, to bring justice to victims, you know, to, to do the things that we all came on the job to do, you know. The worst part about being the chief of police is that I, is that I don't get to work as closely with folks like you as I used to. And, and that, you know, that's a great tragedy for me, but, but I can still get you the tools to do your job. And, and that will be my goal. So, you know, my goal is to make Robbery Homicide Division even better than it is now, not through better cops, because there are no better cops in this world, but through better tools. Thank you. Esther? Now that the election has concluded, there are several new propositions that impact public safety. Oh, yeah. Do you see a shift in the way we're going to be policing over the next few years? Well, I think we're going to be really busy. You know, I, I think that, uh, that everybody recognizes that with the passage of 57, we're going to have a number of challenges. You know, 47 brought us significant challenges, and 57 is going to continue that. So, you know, we are just going to have to, to work with uh, parole, and, you know, and, to, and, you know, we're going to have to look at our cases at a longer term than we used to. You know, and you may be, the detectives may be going to more parole hearings than, than they did in the past. And, and, you know, this is going to be, we're just going to have to adapt to the new, the new law of the land because we cannot do these things. You know, these are, these are past uh, propositions. And once a proposition passes, it is the law. So, so we got to be smart. And we have, to, we have to address these things in a smart way so that they don't affect us in a, in a negative way and don't affect the people of Los Angeles. Sir, I have a question in regards to as a follow-up to that. You know, there, is there an equation to our success rate? I mean, you know, you can't have more officers, you can't have more money. How do we work smarter and we're using a tool such as RHD, for example? Well, technology is key, you know. Uh, effective uh, deployment of resources is key, making sure that we fill our vacancies and, and we have the right people and that we concentrate on the right things that, that I, as in RHD's case, that, that I don't burden them with cases that, that they aren't gonna be able to make headway on, you know, mm -hmm. the, and that we, that, that we keep a good balance and, you know, in, 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 in personnel so that we can address, uh, you know, evolving trends, you know, we're gonna, we're going to see, uh, you know, more and more immigration issues. You know, we may see, uh, you know, issues with, uh, you know, the new marijuana laws. And we're going to have to find ways to address those as a police department and address them in a smart way with the effective use of resources. You know, uh, one of the most difficult things is recognizing that, 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 that effort doesn't always cut it. You have to be smart about what mm -hmm. you do. You know, you have to be very methodical like a good detective and you have to make it have a good game plan about how you're going to address a problem. And so, you know, that's what we have to do. Thanks, Chief. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you, sir. Roger. As we approach the holidays, I need you particularly to take care of each other, watch each other's back, and take care out there.